hey guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm making butternut squash soup and guys I've already prepped all my ingredients but I will still list them in the description box as I go along so over here guys let's jump straight into the video so over here I've got my pot on and I'm gonna hand half teaspoon of coconut oil in there Everybody cooks different guys. So yeah, feel free to cook it your way how you want it to cook. So I'm gonna add six cloves of garlic and I'm also gonna add one white onion and I'm gonna saute this off guys. There's not a lot of oil in there. I'm gonna saute this off before I put my butternut squash in. Now that's my garlic and my onion already sauteed guys, I'm gonna go ahead and add the butternut squash in. This is just one squash guys. And I'm gonna mix everything together. Guys, this is just a simple and easy recipe. Especially it's cold time now guys, really cold. Yeah, you need soup in it. It's not all the time you're gonna feel for every soup like peas soup. No, you just need something simple and easy. Even though it's been too much, it's not really easy, but yeah, it's just something simple guys. Guys, I'm gonna allow this to caramelize. Then you will see the next step guys. So I've got it on medium heat and I want the squash to caramelize up a bit of brown to it. Because guys you could put this in the oven, you could roast it and then add it in. But I'm, I choose to do it this way today. Because you ain't got time for putting it in the oven right about now. Yeah, I just want to do everything on the stove top and yeah. So you can hear the sizzling, I'm allowing it to caramelize before I add some liquid to it. So now guys, I'm going to have some water to the top. So guys, this is how I want it to be. You can see in the bottom guys, it's a bit caramelizing there. That's going to help to bring out the flavor inside there. So I'm just going to have like two cups of water. Guys, you can hear that. So guys. After 20 minutes, this is how the consistency looks. This is how it looks, guys. It's all cooked. So I'm going to turn this stove off, guys. And then now, this is all right. because I'm going to reduce it again, guys. Even though it's that thick, yeah. But it's okay. And I'm going to reduce it in the same pack. So guys, I'm going to go ahead switch the stove off and I'm gonna allow this to cool for about five minutes and then I'm gonna blend it guys when I blend it I'm gonna add it back to the pot and then I'm gonna season it and then yeah you see guys simple easy recipe it's nothing odd it's good for the kids even if you're non-vegan you still can make this soup guys and if you want to have it with the bits in there and not pure and just smooth you can go ahead and add whatever mushrooms whatever to keep it nice inside of it guys okay so yeah as i said i'm gonna allow it to cool and yeah before i blend it so i'll see you in the next process so guys after blending my banana squash this is the consistency this is how it looks it's not too water, it's not too thick. This is how I want it to be. So now guys, I'm giving it a stir and I'm going to add all the ingredients in there. And I'll be listing them as I go along. So I'm just going to add some pink salt to that guys. Half a teaspoon of pink salt. In there. Just for taste. I'm not gonna add a lot of ingredients guys in this soup you don't need 
a lot of ingredients in there. You just want to keep it simple so you don't need a lot of ingredients. Right, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some pepper. Just a pinch of that. And of course, some cayenne pepper. So put the cayenne pepper. It's no soup. Half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I love cayenne pepper. Especially in this weather, guys. Cayenne pepper is really good for you. And I'm going to mix everything together. So guys, if you cook yerba on a squash soup different, please go ahead and let me know how you do it. But this is how I do mine. And I also add a bit of turmeric in there. Just half a teaspoon of turmeric. And yeah, because black pepper with turmeric, guys, it's really good. And you know turmeric is good for you. It's good for inflammation. Inflammation and all the inflammation and all of that. You know, so it's really good for you. Combine turmeric with the black pepper. It works wonders. It's the best way, guys. So I'm just going to give it a stir. And I'm going to allow this to cook for just, just to and low it for five minutes. And then I'm going to dish it. Guys, look at that. Look at the color, the consistency is coming along. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to give it a taste, guys. It's not water, it's just the right texture. You don't want it too thick and you don't want it too thin, right? Because it's soup. With a nice piece of sourdough bread. Yeah, man, way to go. So it's on low heat, guys, and I'm allowing it to simmer for five minutes. So, guys, after five minutes of simmer, this is how it looks. Yeah, I'm just going to stir it for the last time. Make sure it's not stick to the bottom of the pot. So, yeah. So nice, guys. I'm going to turn the stove off. And I'm going to plate up. Because I'm hungry. So, guys, this is the final product. And this is how my butternut squashed soup looked guys and i can't wait to dig in i'm gonna have it with some soda bread because it's so cold and yeah i need something to warm up my body so yeah so guys if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe and guys thanks to each and everyone who support my videos appreciate that i'm grateful and i'm thankful Guys, please tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've got loads of content coming in. I know I should be posting regular, but guys, just bear with me. It's coming, it's coming. And I've got some good content coming out. So guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And again, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in my next video on Friday. Until then, guys, I'm going to go and big up on yourself. Stay healthy eat lt and i'll see you in the next video all right guys bye thanks for watching guys bye